So you can make hash at home. It'll probably only take you about an hour. And this is all you're going to need. And this is some of the best ice water hash that you can possibly get. The flavors are absolutely off the charts. Here's what you need. This is one ounce of, of uh, ground cannabis. I'm going to pour that into this jar and I'm going to pour ice water and I've got this three quarters full and that's about that much ice. You want this really cold. This is frozen and just hand ground. I'll put that in there and pour this on top. So I poured the water on top and as you can see the plant matter floats. That's water base. What you're breaking off are the trichomes. The science is the trichomes are oil base. They'll fall to the bottom and the plant matter will rise to the top. And then you're going to use your um, spoons to, to skim that and off. You're going to shake this vigorously for five to ten minutes. And then you're going to have to let it settle. And that's the hard part. You need to really let that settle for ten to fifteen minutes. You're going to do this twice, and you could do this more, but your yield will substantially drop after the second run. So as this separates, you will actually be able to see the trichomes on the very bottom. There may be some debris if you've had an outdoor plant, maybe a little sand or whatever in there, but you'll see it all separated. So we're going to very gently spoon this out into more ice water because we're going to do another run and it's imperative to keep it very cold so that the oil-based parts stay solid and, uh, and that separation from the water-based part of the plant, the vegetable part, um, uh, is successful. So um, I've taken uh, all the plant material out of this jar, added it to this jar, and then I've done the shaking of this jar, which is now settling out. Then I will remove the ice and the rest of the floating plant material, and I'll add this water to this jar, after which we will filter in a coffee filter, and I'll show you that in a minute. Now, as you can see, we've got the trichomes on the bottom. Now, you can fill, you can add water to this mix once you've removed all the debris and the ice, and slowly allow it to settle and slowly pour it off. And you can do this a half a dozen times till the water's clear. And now you can see exactly what you've got is. This, uh, this, uh, these trichomes on the bottom ready to go. Now we're going to pour that into the filter in the ball jar, separate that out and you'll have your hash um, ready to, ready to uh, actually press in, your, in the palm so of your hand. So you can use a rag or paper towels in addition to um, uh, squeezing out this coffee filter to remove the, the uh, material. But there's your hash there at the bottom and uh, this will help in the drying process. By the way, you can use this process to turn your trash to stash. Um, when you've got spider mites or mold or, or thrips, um, you could use this as a method of cleaning those out and, uh, and still having great smoke at the end. So I've squeezed out the water and now you see what kind of return we get. Here's a little spoon to get this off. Now this needs to be dried. You can roll this if you choose. Um, you can decarboxylate to some degree by putting boiling water in a, oh, a vodka, um, a round bottle, a vodka bottle, a wine bottle, something of that nature. And you can roll this out um, as well. Now I probably would spread this out and let it dry, but that's, uh, that's some spectacular hash, probably in the neighborhood of a 10% return that you'll have. 